report, substitute the report from USSB. My name is Andrei Pitukhov. We had supposed to get Jan Sashashvili from Santa Barbara University, but in general, as we have spoke with him on the stage of editing his work, he asked me to convey his main ideas of research. Short disclaimer, I'm going to tell you about well, the main ideas and that added value which guys made about identification of vulnerabilities and various devices. You can ask all the questions to the authors of this research. Their contexts are going to be presented at the final slide. The important point is the Santa Barbara University and guys who have applied their hands to any research in web security, identifying the attacks, so they are well, the fathers. Many may know Christopher Kruger, Giovanni Winnie, they are uh, fathers of the oldest ITCTF. Sorry, what the guys are actually were doing. Uh, Internet of Things. Anything could be managed to web interface. In this graph of random analytical agency, which was made in random time, shows sustainable growth in the number of devices that have some installed base and for these devices we mean home routers, web cameras, electronic locks, could be even Wi-Fi tooth brushes which could be switched on remotely and other things. And the main motivator of this study were published recently. Studies on backdoors, which were a backdoor possibility to manage the device without knowledge of login password of the user, which are the users that manage the devices through any service account. As an example, We have devices 3S Vision and 5072, which after starting, it was identified that they have a backdoor. So any person that has access to this particular uh, backdoor could get a username and password. It was one and the same devices, and they could manage these devices remotely. So there was a question, how can we approach systematically the analysis of this identification of these drawbacks for this, with a scalable way? There was a method proposed, let me tell you idea a bit later, but let me get you the example of what drawbacks we'd like to find out, identify. We'd like to identify three types of uh, drawbacks. First, hard -court login password, there's an identification procedure. You enter login password, a secret and a special contour. You compare the embedded line. If it coincides, that the granted access. If it's not, they check the login password the user has configured for itself before, if it coincides again, it's good. If it's not, then goodbye. The first type of drawback, which we will call backdoor a possibility of, of bypassing identification. Second type of drawback is related to the hidden administrative interface. If you know that you don't have to enter any secret, for example, if you're talking about the web admins that 
kind of path within where admin consisting of 20, 30 random figures like 1, 0, 5, 16, ADF, etc. Moving on this path, you can get to admin function without entering login or password. And the third type, which is get in scope of work, vulnerability and web interface the control panel which allowed to introduce OS command OS commanding or remote code execution a good example if your router allows you to make pink you get that into the entry field now if you want a pink in fact the sentry you get the sentry and you form the system command for Linux that the router pink works at pink the argument that you have entered and then the system command is to perform therefore if the user entered the correct way you can add any command through and it could be executed in any pressure system these three types of vulnerabilities got at the scope of this work and they are called possibility of bypassing identification or simply backdoor. Well-known examples will describe what is the idea of system analysis. With embedded devices in search of these backdoors. So what we can do, we can set up this vulnerability model. If in the program there is no uh, authentication procedure is called, we believe that the program is vulnerable. This approach does work because the procedure authentication might not be available at all, and we must admit this could be admitted as a vulnerability, and then any authentication procedure is implemented on all the devices of the in the custom base. We cannot set up same signature which would be applicable to Linksys and the link cameras and other electronic locks. So what is also painful is that static analysis of such beds is hard because they are written with different architecture. They are supply without the initial code as you understand you need to have a statistic analysis of the binary code the dynamic analysis is hard because we don't have access to the calculator that it works with so access such access that you can observe and monitor the environment time of performance and also most often we cannot instrument that I mean this bad because they have the electronic signature approach etc so that's a problem so how it is proposed main idea to fight against this problem the main idea is search for not the absence of identification identification procedure but search for the opportunity of getting access to critical function which must be closed with the identification procedure without entering the secret. In other words, if we analyze and we can identify what entry we need to get to the program to get to the secured function, then it means that we need the possibility to go around the navigation. So that's the model, that's the approach. The education procedure. In this uh, option, we enter a secret which only user know, knows, which could be analyzed statistically. So there's a connection between the uh, and in case we have the access to critical function. So. In the, this identification, we have a chance of choosing this input data, which are calculated again 
having access to binary learning code, which allow to get the success. That's the that it is a proposed check. The question is with what methods? As I was said before, probably through dynamic methods, which are not exactly fit. Exactly, we don't know. We don't have the access to digital calculators that we have. We have to use statistical analysis. Keeping in mind the availability of different architectures, we need to somehow unify internal uh, and then we need to unify the approach. So then the first idea. Second idea is how we are going to understand which of the analyzed best function function is critical, where we cannot get access without getting a secret. Unfortunately, in automatic mode, it is not ever possible. Everybody understand that, and therefore it was a suggested to the analysis to get specification which functions we believe critical, and which are not. In other words. For the, the embedding is analyzed and specific functions which we protect access to. With which methods it is proposed to resolve this challenge and having embedding and specification of functions where we trace first we have statistic analysis. And for each critical function, we build a backslice, which allows to get only those program operators which input data that move from the user's input to this very critical function. And then each backslice sent to the same dynamic symbolic execution procedure. At the end, we can get specific inputs or limitations on the input data, which would allow, pass the way, shown in this backslice, and reach this critical function. So after we receive that known limitations on the input data allowing to make the pass from the beginning of a software till the critical functions, you need to check that it was not uh, false, which is truly implementable. So then we make the third step, which is authentication, bypass, check. Like if this input data were found, and we declare then we found really bypass And these are the data which must be given to the input. If we didn't find that, we cannot say anything because our method will not work. But in general, we might be sure to some extent that in this software um, there is no possibility for authentication. The procedure which I told about is shown on this slide, and I'm going to skip some of the slides. I'm going to go exactly to the tools which was in implemented for automation of this analysis. This uh, is called Python. It allows to upload to the special environment analyzed set and we can get rid of any values of any variable. And then with this tool using the IP framework that the guys have written can make dynamic symbolic execution until the required point. The third, this software allows to 
make back slice till the required point. So these functions supported by the framework which was laid at the GitHub. Is urged to use, test, maybe write comments into this repository and possibility to write about feedback whether it works or not. There's a link to GitHub and the address, email address where you can ask questions to. At that, I think I've uh, told about the idea, tools, and if there are questions which I might be able to answer, go ahead and ask. If no questions, thank you very much for your attention. And that, until 2 o'clock, we have a break.